time. The nor'easter forecasters are describing as historic is pounding the northeast tonight. A massive snowstorm that has shut things down from Washington all the way to Maine. Taking a live look at Framington, Massachusetts right now. Look at it. Forecasters say it could bring two to three feet of snow to parts of New York and New England. Some areas will see blizzard condition white out, but that is not the only concern. 70 mile an hour winds, coastal flooding and power outages all possible. Interstates shut down and travel bans are taking effect as conditions continue to deteriorate. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko spoke to a few Gulf Coast natives who now live in the Northeast and are among those bracing for the worst, Christina. Greg, apparently motions of prepping for this storm are not foreign for folks from our area. They say it's a lot like getting ready for a hurricane. Stock up on supplies, get off the roads, and stay safe inside. If severe weather is on its way, Gulf Coast natives know what to do, whether it be a hurricane or a potentially record-breaking snowstorm. We really don't know what to expect, but you know, so far it's pretty good, but they say it's to brace ourselves for the worst. Molly Vasicki, a Fairhope president for most of her life, currently lives in New Jersey. And right now she's one of the 58 million people that are bracing themselves for winter storm Juno. Just by going to the store today and yesterday and seeing the water shelves, you know, stocked and they're empty now. And there's no shovels, there's flashlights, we're all pretty much, you know, laid out and wiped out, batteries were out. So, you know, the store's press like a hurricane does down south and lays out everything and Everyone gets what they want and, you know, they go home and prepare. For Vasicki, this week brings with it her first winter storm up north, while for other Gulf Coast natives, they say they've been through them before. You just have to sort of batten down the hatches and, you know, be ready for shoveling as soon as possible. Matthew Kelly, a Mobile native, has lived outside of Boston for several years now. Having had experience prepping for both tropical and winter storms, He's noted a difference. I feel like Mobile handled hurricanes um, with a lot more stride than New England handled those storms. Both Vasicki and Kelly say they plan to stay indoors tomorrow, which is good for them and shouldn't be a problem thanks to the prep work they've done ahead of time. Greg, Kent, back to you.